Hello and welcome everyone to another episode of Advanced React WordPress Theme Development. In the previous videos, we learned about how to create a blog post page where we are displaying all of the blog posts with the pagination option. And in this video, we're going to do the load more option. So in the previous video, we we created a link that goes to a page with the route slash news and we're just going to continue further with that with the load more option okay so i'm going to go to the pages directory and then i'm going to create something called news and inside of this we'll create index.js and then i'm going to go to my pull request and then i'm going to grab the news source code and I'm going to place that here. Now, we also want the get news. I'm going to explain to you what's happening there, but let's get the query first. So I'm going to go to the queries directory and inside of this, we create another directory and we name it as news. Then we do get news.js. So let's grab that query, get news. Go over here, search for get news. Here it is. I'm going to again copy this file source code. We'll get all of the code from GitHub inside of the next year's headless WordPress. So I paste that there and this is basically a similar query. We're just saying, get me the page information of the page and then get me the post, get me the first 10 or whatever. Okay. And then after this will be a cursor based pagination. So this will be the cursor. So initially it'll be null. And then if I run this query, so let me show that to you. Let me give an example. If you run this query inside of graphical, let's wrap this inside of this. Let's get rid of the featured image for now, shall we? And we don't want the excerpt for the moment, just for demonstration purposes let's say i want the first nine posts initially after will be null and this will be replaced by the cursor in the next set of posts if i hit it i get the post and then i also get the total number of posts and i also get the cursor the end cursor so end cursor will help you get the next set of posts it's kind of allows you to track it okay so i got the nine post initially and then let's say i want the next 12 post after that all i have to do is just pass the cursor information over here the previous cursor and cursor information that we had and notice that we also have the has next page true so that will help us determine whether we want to show the load more button uh, or not right so now if you hit it there you go you have all the post and then you get total number of and then you get the end cursor again, right? Okay, awesome. So that's what's happening over here. And then we just have the basic header footer and image fragment and stuff like that, which I already explained in the previous video. So you got the get news. We also want to get load more posts, uh, which means that will be actually the client side query. So first time when the request goes, it will be to get news, to get the uh, first nine posts server side and then when the user clicks and then when the user clicks on the load more all the further requests will be client side not server side okay so let's just get this load more posts okay now let's get let's get this component called load more posts search for that const load more posts here it is so inside of the components directory i'm going to create another directory called news and inside of news i'm going to create a file called load more post.js let's do that okay there you go and then i get this code i paste it here and then i'll explain to you in a moment what we are doing over here we also need to get the get load more news query so let's get that so this is our get load more post query, get load more news query. I'm going to go on to the queries directory again, and I'm going to, okay, inside of this, I'll create a file called 
get load more news and then I'm going to just paste this piece of code there all right so this is not much different okay sorry this needs to be inside of queries so I'll just drag and drop here yep there you go so this is the same thing basically you're still getting the post you're still the same query the only difference is that this is going to be client side and you also get the cursor information and uh, you know you can call this load more news all right so let's close this one and let's continue with the news component so let me show you what's happening here so this is under our pages so let me close all of this shall we let me start fresh close everything start over pages news index.js yeah under this component we have get static props we're making get news query which i already explained this is to get all of the posts we're just calling it news just to make it a little different but still the post itself okay so we're getting get news and we're getting this we're passing this as uri we're getting per page first after is null and then we're getting default props and then handling redirects which i already explained in the previous video when we get the data we pass that to the layout we also get the load more post component which is here inside of this we get the posts uh, and then let me show you what we're getting here let's go to the news page there you go so if you take a look you've got the page info which is of end cursor has next page offset pagination information total number of pages you've got the first nine posts zero to nine zero to eight which is total of nine posts being shown over here right and that's what we are using to rendering the same component that we had earlier so it's not doing anything different in terms of the type of component it is using it is still using the posts right and it's passing that post data to this and it's checking if it has the next page so if that value that we just checked if that has next page equals true then it's going ahead and rendering the post and it's also going to show loading if the loading value is true and i'm going to come to that as to what that loading is and then you also have the load more button so if it has next page which which means next page is has next page is true is going to show the loading first in case if uh, the user clicks on it and uh, the loading is true which means the request is in the process and then it will have the button otherwise it will have the button that allows the user to click on this and then it's going to call the load more items function this load more items function is going to get the end cursor because end cursor will be available from the server side and then it's going to call the fetch post so fetch post we're using use lazy query because use lazy query allows us to to decide at what point you want to make that request rather than when the component loads so this gives us more control so using the use lazy query we pass the query uh, over here then we pass the options uh, when the request is completed this function will be called so this is your promise and then you're going to get the data over here then you're going to call the function set post so set post basically so set post is this function and job of this function is to basically uh, you know get the new post new items in the post if the post is not available or uh, you know if the page info is not available etc it's just going to return null it's just going to return otherwise it's going to say that the new post value equals post data dot concat so what is this post data as so the post data initially is being set to whatever post we get from the server side right so because we are making the initial query from here server side we are, get, we are going to get certain number of posts so initially we are setting that inside of the post data and when the user clicks on load more then we are calling this set post data which is what you see here and then we're going to set the value of the new post so what, what we're doing basically is that we're going to concat the previous post with the new one so what was my previous post my previous post was the nine post that we got service on the server side request and then when the user clicks on load more 
then I'm saying that whatever those posts were, let's say they were nine posts, go ahead and concat, which means add more to it, the, rem the number of posts that you've received from the client side request when the user has clicked on load more. So when the user clicks on load more, a client side request goes to WordPress using this use lazy query, is gonna fetch those posts, get the data, set post gets, set post gets called, then under the set post, we concatenate the previously received number of posts with the newly received posts. So it will be 9 plus 12 in this case. And then finally call this function set post data, which is this one, which is going to update the value of the post data with the new value, right? And then we also set the page information uh, inside the post.pageinfo. So page info is going to contain the offset pagination, total, has, next page, end cursors. You're going to this is going to be updated basically, right? So that's what's happening over here. And then anytime, you know, when the state changes, which means the post data value changes, then um, this component will be re-rendered and basically you're going to see more posts. And uh, notice that set page info is also uh, a function that we have created here, a custom function. Initial value of the page info is the one received from the server side and all further requests will be updated with the new information anytime the um, user clicks on the load more, okay? And if there are any errors, it's going to set the errors for the user. So you can see that on error, it's just calling that set error function and setting the GraphQL errors, all right? So that's what load more function does basically. It just makes that request to the server side and then concatenate the post. So. So that's what's happening over here. We're handling errors and stuff. So now if you go back and we have, we are facing some issues of no articles available because of some course issue. I'm going to get rid of this credentials include from here because I've tested it. Our preview request still works. Even if I remove the credentials equals true. So let's get rid of that. And now if I refresh, if I hit load more, congratulations, you've got next, next set of posts. So take a look of what's happening. I'm just going to give you a recap. So on the initial request, we got that we got that nine posts, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That was the server side. When you click on load more, can you see that there's a client side request that goes? And this client side request basically takes the variable and says, get me the next nine basically, and then take this cursor. All right, I'm gonna call the load more. And then we get the data back. So we get the next set of posts and you can see that we have got the next set of nine posts basically, right? And the reason for this is because unlike the pagination, we are passing per page first itself. We're not really worried about, uh, you know, getting 12 posts after that, but you could do that if you want to. But we're just sticking to the nine post over here, right? So every time you hit, it's going to get the next nine post, all right? So, so you can see that you got the next nine post and, and notice that you've got this cursor. And if you scroll down again, if you hit load more again, another request goes and notice that this is the same cursor will go in that request. So you can see the same cursor value goes again, get me the next nine and you get the next set of nine posts, all right? And this will keep going until all the posts have been loaded. Click that, click that, click that. It'll keep going, keep going until it's finished. All right, now it's finished, it's done. It's fetched all of the posts. That's why you no longer see the load more, all right? So I hope you did like the video. If you did, please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. Please give a star to my repository like all the beautiful 107 people have. Uh, my repository name is Next.js Headless WordPress. And do follow me on GitHub. My GitHub handle is Imran H. Sayed. And do follow me on Twitter. My Twitter handle is Coditech. All right. So I'm going to see you in the next video. Thank you very much.